How to fix bad range on your DJI Mini 3 Pro with the DJI RC. You run into range issues flying in Wi-Fi polluted areas. The reason why this fixes bad range is because the broadcasting power that is allowed under the FCC is much higher than under CE. So when the guy behind Drone Tweaks reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test his solution, of course I said yes, as I wanted to test if it is so as easy as he claims to enable it. So let's see if we can make it work and switch the DJI Mini 3 Pro into FCC mode. Later in the video, I will show you how you can see the difference. And in case that you want to test it out yourself, the Drone Tweaks have provided me with a link that I'll be sharing in the, the description below so you can pick up your own FCC mod and test it out for yourself. Further, you can see three products have been offered. There's an FCC mod for the DJI Fly app for iOS. There is an FCC mod for the DJI Fly app for Android. And there's an FCC AirSense mod for DJI Air 2S for iOS. I don't know what the last one is. Maybe we could take a closer look at that one later. What it's all about is uh, these two, the one for iOS and the one for Android. And you only need to buy one license and you can apply it to all your drones. But you do have to decide whether it's iOS or Android. And in this video, I will demonstrate it for iOS. Once you get everything installed, the procedure is exactly the same. So how does it actually work? Yeah, it works in a way that you need to get a separate app that's called FCC DJI Fly app. And according to Drone Tweaks, this is a modified version of the official app. You would use exactly the same way you use the official app. You will log in with the same DJI account, but you will always remain in FCC mode. So this is the reason why I have two apps installed here. The official uh, DJI Fly app and the modified version from uh, yeah, drone tweaks. To be able to get that onto uh, your smartphone, the process is a little bit more cumbersome than if you're using Android. You need to basically have a signed app to, uh, to be able to install it. There's a very good description on uh, the drone tweaks website that shows exactly how this procedure is done. You should basically get hold of the UUID of uh, the iOS device and that needs to be sent back to Drone Tweaks that will make sure that your product is being registered in the, the Apple ecosystem. And then you will be provided with a login that will allow you to sign and trust the app and thereby install it. At least that's how I understand how it works. I already have the app installed on the device. So you can see if I launch the app, it would basically come up and tell us that FCC mode is enabled, fly with caution. By using this application, you acknowledge that you receive special permission to increase the transmission power and assume full reliability for any potential legal ramifications. This is, of course, the disclaimer from Drone Tweaks and me if you decide to use this application. And right now I could basically take this application and then plug it into the RCN1, the old controller where the smartphone is put on top. And then I would be able to go out and fly with the drone and it will be in FCC mode. If I want to fly it in CE mode, I just need to use the official app from DJI. So that's pretty simple. If we're going to use the DJI RC in FCC mode, there are a few steps that we need to do involving the phone before we can switch it into FCC mode. This operation needs to be repeated before every flight. And there's a video tutorial on the website that will show you exactly how this operation is done. But let me show you how it works in real life and how you establish the, if the drone is in FCC or non-FCC mode. So now let's go outside and see if we can flick it into FCC mode. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to launch the app. So right now that is launched and we are saying OK. And then that needs to run in the background. So right now we need to wait for the home point to update. I had to move the table out so I could get a clear view of the sky so we could get an updated home point. And we go under the three dots. 
in the upper right corner transmission you can see that the, the minus 90 db line is close to one kilometers which means that it's in ce mode let's just start the drone make sure the home point is updated so now the home point is updated so just land it again so now the home point is updated so the next thing that we need to do is we need to start the official app so let's see if we can switch it so the way we do this is that we go to quick transfer here on the regular app from DJI then it says join we're waiting for it to join Yes, and then we're switching to the FCC app. Quick transfer. Here, yeah, so it's switching and then it closes off this one on the smart controller. And then what we need to do now is we need to exit quick transfer mode like this. And if we jump in under the transmission tab, you would see that it changed. Did you see it changed? So, now the drone is in FCC mode. And if I take away the phone and reboot everything, and all the apps are closed here on the phone, I took that one away after I've started the screen recorder, you would see in a second, go under the three dots, transmission you see that it's back in CE mode so now you've got a demonstration that it works it's actually pretty easy to switch the drone in and out of uh, FCC mode using the mod from drone tweaks and if you want to test this out by yourself then there is a purchase link in the description below if there's any other questions or any other tests that you would like me to do, then let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a, a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. New <laughs> As well as the goggle. 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 <laughs> Promising some promising sing song sing song which was not particularly a strong okay additional additionally additionally and to be quite transparent I would be okay <laughs> and I would constantly fear 